Hello, everyone. First of all, let's check the inspirational picture from Pinterest. Look at this ballroom. Uh, this ballroom, there are flowers inside the ballroom. Look at this one. Uh, it's very gorgeous. And this idea very popular recently. And today I will use the material I have to make the ballroom like this. Okay, now let's go. Okay, first of all, we need to take one of the ballroom like this and drag it. It needs a lot of strings. Just drag it. Really a lot of power to drag the ballroom. The reason of dragging the ballroom just want to make it larger and round. Don't worry, it's not easy to be damaged. Just drag it very hard. Okay? I don't have enough of power. Okay, then let's take some, pump some air in the ballroom. In fact, uh, I don't recommend to use the pump like this. Uh, if you have some pump machine, that will be better. But if you we don't, uh, we can use this one. Okay, I strongly recommend to use this pump. Uh, because using this pump, you need to hold the ballroom on the pump with one hand and pump in the air with an other hand. But actually, uh, it needs a lot of stress and it's not easy to hold the ballroom tightly on the pump and the air will coming out. But using this pump, using this pump, you can hold and adjust the ballroom with two hands and then pump in the air with the left and it will help you to save a lot of power and it can help to pump in the air much more fast, much more easy. I strongly recommend to use this pump instead of this pump. Okay, let's pump in the air to check the effect. Look, you can read the ballroom like this to make sure the air will not coming out. And then let's pump in the air. The effect, uh, harbor smaller than this harbor, but anyway, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, actually, we don't have to make everything perfect. Okay, then the next step, we need to uh, adjust the lens, take the lens of our flower. Look. Uh, there is no rule about how to uh, take the lens of the flower. Just check which place your flower need to put on the uh, in the ball, and then keep a little space of the stem for this part. Okay, then the next step, we need to put the flower uh, into the ballroom. 
uh, you can use the fabric and I will use the ribbon just wrap it okay and then put it in the bottom and then pick out the uh, ribbon and for your information if you want to put some flowers or anything into the ballroom you need to select this type of ballroom with the larger opening look at this this type of ballroom the opening is very small look I step them together so you can find the difference okay look this one this type of ballroom will be much larger than this one okay so if you want to put something into the ballroom you need to pick the opening the type with larger opening okay let's put in some air before that we need to jet the opening because we need to much more space to tie the bottom Drag it. make it much more longer okay after we uh, put in the flower the next step we need to turn in the air recommend to use this one uh, it will help you to save a lot of strength and make it much more faster faster and easy just like this and then wrap the ballroom around the mouth of the pump and then use the elastic to tie around the mouth of the pump tightly be care of the stern because it may be cracked and damage the bottom you can apply some hot glue to, to the cutter to the stern, end of the stern Okay, tie the elastic, elastic on the bottom and the mounts of the pump. Okay, then let's pump in the air. Okay, then when you put in the air and make the bottom large as you want then the next step we will use wrap the stand wrap the bottom on the stand and then use another elastic to tie on the bottom oh okay the pump just coming out 
But anyway, grab at the opening tightly. I can feel the air was coming out. But anyway, Okay then, it's hard to explain, just follow the screen and then tie the bottom itself. And then release the first elastic. Drag it hardly. And tie again. If you can, all we do just want to make sure the air would not come out. Actually, I'm not professional on doing. And this is my first time to make the flow volume like this. And my experience is, is very hard. Not easy. Okay, the next step. We need to tie the volume uh, onto the stem, flower stem again because we want to make sure just turn the bottom like that to make sure the flower stand Okay, this is the rose volume we got. The next step, we need to decorate the rose volume. Okay, first of all, we need to put the volume on the hold. Just put it on the holder and then tie it. Tie it, tie will be okay also. Look at that. There's a hook on the holder. Just put the elastic on the hook will be okay. It can help to make the volume sturdy on the holder. Okay, like this. Okay, the following, we have two options. 
The first option is use the soft plastic pole and put it on the holder and then decorate the ballroom with the paper and take it anywhere that will be okay or you can put on the saucepan and connect with the plastic connector and then another saucepan and the base and put it on the plastic base so you will got the decoration you can put the bottom on the table or anywhere anywhere you want as a decoration like this okay i show you the full picture like this okay let's zoom in to check the effect Uh, the come out will be much more pretty than what you watch from the screen. The ballroom in reality, reality will be much more transparent and clean. Okay, the next step, let's decorate the ballroom with some paper. The come out will be much more pretty. Okay, uh, I forgot. Before we decorate with the paper, we need to add the light on the ballroom. Use the string line and go through the pole. The connector. Just let the light string go through the holder. And then wrap it around the ballroom. And then the wraps of the string line, just wrap it on the holder will be okay. If you want the light string sturdy on the ballroom you can apply some tape on the on some spot of around the string line will be okay put some tape on it will be okay but i don't because i just want to show you the sample okay then let's put it on the base just insert on the base will be okay don't worry the light string will not broke. Okay, then let's light up the light string and check the effect. Like this. This is the whole effect after we light up the light string, the ballroom. Very beautiful. The come out in reality will be much more uh, gorgeous. Okay, adding some paper. Just use a paper. My paper is not pretty you can change to the paper you like 
fold the paper like this, and then turn the paper to make the angle. To make the angle like this. I think that will be okay. And then put the ballroom on the paper. Just grab the paper. Because the ball, the ballroom, I pump in the air, not enough. So the ballroom is small, the paper look like much more larger. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Just put the paper like this and tie with the string. And I prefer to use the double face stick to stick the paper on the ball. I don't show you the detail. Just put it on the place you need. Will be okay. Okay, then the next step is the fabric. Just fold the fabric. The next fabric. Fold it. and apply some double face tape. Tie with the string. Finally, ribbon. And actually, I don't know how to tie the bows with the ribbon, so I just tie it. Do not follow how I tie it. I'm really not good at make the knot. Okay, let's check the effect. Okay, look. Let's check the effect. I line up the ballroom. This is the effect. Okay. Uh, obviously, after we adding the fabric, and the paper on the ballroom, the pro, the plastic pro is soft. It cannot hold the weight of them. So I have to tie the pole on a iron stand to show you the effect. But there will be no problem if you uh, hold it with your hand, like the bouquet. Okay, let's check the effect. Okay, then let's turn off the light to put it on the darker environment to check the effect. Okay, this is the effect after we make the light darker. Let's check the, the come out will be much more pretty. Actually, 
the light is a uh, one white color the come out in reality will be much more romantic uh, much more pretty than what you watch from the screen okay I turn on the light also the questions how long the ballroom could keep like this without the air come out uh, let's check it uh, next day hello after 24 hours let's check the effect the bottom didn't leak the condition still okay and the tips of prevent the leaking just make sure you can tie the ballroom itself tie the knot with the itself do you remember the opening we jet it tie the opening tidily that will be okay and also look at this what do you think how if if we can put the ballroom we make two of the ballroom and put it on the entry of the event actually it will be very um, very beautiful and unique or you can light them around the uh, along the aisle the effect will be very perfect very beautiful but anyway if i have any idea by using the ballroom to make the decoration i will take another tutorial if you are interested please uh, keep eyes on our new post and for your information we uh, supply all, almost all the material used on our tutorial okay this is today's tutorial thank you for your watching bye bye